welcome back. Today we will have lecture 8-1 on discrete time systems solving difference equations. The objective of today's lecture is that students should be able to use D-transforms and inverse D-transforms to solve difference equations with initial conditions. There are three basic techniques to solve linear time invariant difference equations. The first method is to find the complementary and particular solutions. The second method is to use a sequential procedure of substituting in values. And the third method is to use Z transforms and inverse Z transforms. This is the method that we will use in this course. In order to check the final answer, use the difference equation to compute the answer and compare this with the answer calculated with the Z transform. It is also possible to separate the solution into the zero input response and the zero state response. The zero input response is the response of a system due to initial conditions alone. There is no input. The zero state response is the response of the system due to the input only, assuming zero initial conditions. In the time domain, when we did differential equations, we would call this the forced response and the natural response. So the complete response, y of z, is the sum of the zero state response plus the zero input response, where y of n is the inverse z transform of y of z. So in the n domain, this would be y of n is equal to y z s r of n plus y z i r of n. The system transfer function h of s, h of z, is determined from the zero state response. And it is the ratio of the output over the input, y of z over x of z, but since it's zero, State response does not have any initial conditions. It's also YZSR of Z over X of Z. The following summations will be useful in solving difference equations with initial conditions. The Z transform of X of N plus two is Z squared X of Z minus Z squared X of zero minus Z X of one. Notice that the capital X is the Z domain and the lowercase X represents the N domain. So X of zero is n equal to zero, and x of one is, one is n equal to one. The z transform of x of n plus one is z x of z minus z x of zero, and the z transform of x of n is simply x of z. The z transform of x of n minus one is z to the negative one x of z, and finally, the z transform of x of n minus two is z to the negative two x of z, and hopefully you can see the pattern here for any terms that are not shown. In class activity one, find the solution zero state response and zero input response for the following difference equation. Y of n plus one is equal to negative 0.5 y of n plus three x of n, where y of zero is equal to four and the input x of n is equal to u of n. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write the z transform. So we're going to have z, y of z, minus z lowercase y of zero plus 0 0.5 y of z equals three x of z. So then we're going to factor out y of z over here. So you're going to have z plus 0 0.5 times y of z equals now y of zero is a four, so over here we're going to have four z plus three x of z. So now when we solve for y of z, we have y of z is equal to four z over z plus 0 0.5 plus three x of z over z plus 0 0.5. So the zero state response due to zero initial conditions is 3z, 3x of z over z plus 0 0.5. Now note that if x of n is equal to u of n, then x of z is equal to z over z minus one. So this can also be written as three z over z minus one times z plus 0 0.5. The zero input response, 
would be when x of z is equal to zero. So the zero input response is 4z over z plus 0 0.5. The transfer function h of z is equal to y zsr of z over x of z. So the transfer function is equal to 3 over z plus 0 0.5. This can also be written as z inverse times z times 3 over z plus 0 0.5, which can be used to find the impulse response h of n. The impulse response is the inverse z transform of h of z. So h of n is equal to 3 times negative 0 0.5 to the n minus 1 u of n minus 1. y z i r of n is found by taking the inverse z transform of y z i r of z. So y z i r of n is 4 times negative 0 0.5 to the n u of n. Now you have to actually use partial fraction expansion to find y z s r of n. So we'll start with y z s r of z is equal to 3z over z minus 1 times z plus 0 0.5. So y z s r of z over z is equal to a over z minus 1 plus b over z plus 0 0.5. Using the cover up method to find a, a is equal to 3 over z plus 0 0.5 evaluated at z equals 1, so a is equal to 2. b is equal to 3 over z minus 1 evaluated at z equal negative 0 0.5, so b is equal to negative 2. So y z s r of z can be written as 2z over z minus 1 minus 2z over z plus 0 0.5. So y z s r of n is equal to 2 minus 2 times negative 0 0.5 to the n u of n. So the complete solution, y of n, is y, z i r of n, plus y, z s r of n, which equals 4 times negative 0 0.5 to the n, minus 2 times negative 0 0.5 to the n, plus 2, u of n. Then to check our work, we evaluate this at y of 0, and we get 4 minus 2 plus 2, which equals 4, which does equal the initial condition given in the problem statement.